the Prophet, the merciful and wise Prophet that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to the people. We know for a fact every time he left the city for a trip, for a battle, for whatever reason, whenever he left the people in Medina, he assigned and appointed someone to take care of affairs and basically be the leader while he's not there. Anything happens, he's the one that makes decisions. You all have to listen to him. We say, if this is the Prophet, then when he wants to leave this world, he's not going to appoint someone for you? Does that make sense? Does that really make sense to you? We say, no. So he must have appointed someone. The same analogy doesn't apply to the Prophet Imam. Alhamdulillah, he hasn't left this world, but at the, at the very least, it's very similar to the Prophet leaving the city, isn't it? Ayyuhan nas, antum bayatum bi aydikum man qama min ajli al-amri bil ma'roof wa nahi an al-munkar wa ihyai sunnati jaddihi Muhammad khatam al-rusul wa al-anbiya wa hada al-dalil huwa ibn ammi al-Husayn ibn Ali wa huwa qadib ilaykum فتثبتوا على بيعتكم لإمامكم ولا تخافوا أحدا إلا الله. In the story of Imam Al Hussein in Kufa, what divided up the people was the wrong imams amongst the people who pledged allegiance to Muslim Ibn Aqil. These are people that supposedly believe in that. They believe that it's the imam that is going to be the just ruler. But amongst them, some are found that actually end up dividing. It's not only that individual saying, okay, I don't want to be with this cause. They lead a whole group of people away from Imam al Husayn. Ya Hadrat al Shaykh, I came from the side of my uncle, Imam al Husayn, to Kufa, to be a witness on the support of the Kufians. أنا لست موافقا مطلقا على القيام بأي شيء قبل وصول الإمام الحسين إلى الكوفة إلى أين يا سليمان؟ أذهب لأنتظر يوسفنا كما انتظر نبينا يعقوب ابنه الحبيب يوسف يجب أن أخبر ابن عمي الإمام الحسين أن الكوفيين لا يزالون كما كانوا في عهد عم الإمام علي يجب أن أحذرهم من الاقتراب من الكوفة God forbid if we have the wrong leaders during the time of the occultation, there's a good chance we may fall into the wrong the hands of the wrong leaders, and when the Imam of the time comes, we will be the ones that follow those leaders against the Imam. ای سید ما، ای مولای ما ما آنچه باید بکنیم انجام میدیم آنچه باید گفت هم گفتیم و خواهیم گفت من جان ناقابلی دارم
جسم ناقصی دارم اندک آبروی هم دارم که این را هم خود شما به ما دادید همه اینها رو من کف دست گرفتم در راه این انقلاب و در راه اسلام فدا خواهم کرد اینها هم نظار شما باشه سید ما مولای ما دعا کن برای ما صاحب ما توی صاحب این کشور توی صاحب این انقلاب توی پشتیبان ما شما هستید ما این راه رو ادامه خواهیم داد با قدرت هم ادامه خواهیم داد در این راه ما رو با دعای خود با حمایت خود با توجه خود بدونن ملت ایران همون طور که گفتیم با همه مردم دنیا با ملت های دنیا اما اخون لکفی دینک او شبیون لکفی خلقه که است احترام میذاره اما با متعرض برخورد ملت ایران برخورد پشیمان کننده است اونچنان سیلی به متعرض خواهد زد که هرگز فراموش نکنه